Hey, all right, good evening. Day eight, Facebook Live Challenge. Mike Phillips here. Just wanting to touch base with you and check in for my day eight. I actually have a theme for today. I'm going to wait just maybe a minute or two for some people to check in. And I'm going to try and remember to look right there so that that way I, I can get things going. I got my, uh, my backdrop set up and some cool lights and so forth. So I figured I'd test this out and see if it, uh, it works out okay. So uh, what I want to talk about tonight, I want to talk about, and here's why I'm all kind of fired up on this deal this evening. I want to talk about false prophets. And this could be short or it could be long, but especially if you're in the auto business, you know what I'm talking about. You know that there are false prophets in our business. And what I mean by that is you have people that are coming to you telling you, what needs to be done, what has to be done, how to do it, how they're going to make you all this money, how they're going to do all these things for you, and then it falls flat. And the reason that I wanted to talk about this subject today is because, I, I don't know, for whatever reason, the last two days, it has been absolutely off the wall with the number of people calling me, telling me how awesome they are and that I need to sign up right away if we want to make any more money. Otherwise, the world's just going to fall into a drain somewhere. So... Hey guys, uh, so thanks for tuning in. I got a couple of, I, man, I got a bunch of Anthonys. So a couple of Anthonys, a few other people tuning in. So like I said, I'm talking about the auto industry tonight. I'm talking about false profits. And this will probably be a pretty brief statement. It's just an opinion because it is one of those deals that it's got some, it's just got me frustrated. And uh, thank you, Anthony. I, okay, so here's one of the things that I got to do. I got to not pay attention to the feed while I'm doing this because otherwise I get all sidetracked and I can't focus and I'll never make it through. Uh, <laughs> I'll never make it through the whole feed. Um, yeah, you'd laugh, but it seems more sad than funny. It is. And the thing is, the, the, the frustrating part is people call you all the time and they start pitching stuff. I'll give you an example. And I'm going to leave the company nameless. Because I actually emailed some very trusted advisors of ours, of, of ours at McCloskey Motors and some people in the auto industry. I had somebody contact me in the auto industry, like I said, they'll remain nameless, called me yesterday and told me uh, that they were the, the they are the, uh, the end all be all. They're the people that handle the Google reviews for Google. Just let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> yeah. The little O face. It's like, just let that sink in for a minute. And I said, okay, well, what's the name of your company? And they told me. And so I Googled them. And they didn't come up. Surprise! <laughs> oh my goodness, it doesn't come up anywhere. How would that happen? And so then I, I said, okay, well, so, so which company was it then? And I'm trying to look them up and I'm trying to find them and I, I could never find it. And so I said to this guy, I said, okay, so just level with me. You're a reputation management company. He goes, no, 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 no. We do Google reviews for Google. We handle Google and we also handle Yelp. I said, okay, got it. So you're a reputation management company. And the guy says, oh, no, no, no. And so I said, okay, look, I said, what I don't need is a guy on the other end of the phone calling and lying to me. And I know that can seem really, really harsh. Here we are on frustrating Friday night. It's Cinco de Mayo, right? I know it can seem really crazy because I, I, I'm basically calling the guy a liar. And he says, well, that's a really strong statement. I said, well, yeah, the statement you made before, that was a really strong statement also. Because the thing is, I don't think that anyone else handles Google. I think Google handles Google. And so just to make sure, because one of the things that I wanted to be positive of was that I wasn't the ass. I emailed some really trusted people, people like Jason, who are on the live feed right now. I did step it up. I got the black sheet and I have lights. I'm excited about that. So I figured I had to try it out. So I, I emailed several different, uh, different people in our industry that are very trusted to me. And I said, hey, I just want to make sure what's the deal with this, Do, you know, uh, Google reviews, do you guys, do, is there another company that handles them? Every single person that came back to me said, no, absolutely not. Google does Google. And so one of the reasons when I, when I decided what I was going to talk about tonight, I said, okay, well, there are so many people like that, especially in the auto industry, vendors calling up, people that are wannabe vendors calling up, people that are trainers and wannabe trainers and all that. And the interesting thing is when you check out most of these people, they have no real automotive experience. 
And the interesting thing is I believe it's like that in a lot of industries. I think there's, a, you know, there's a lot of industries, regardless of what industry you're in, you have people that are coming in, consultants, gurus, vendors, all kinds of different people that are coming into the market and thinking, hey, you know what? I think I can sell a product to these people because they may not understand their business that well. And the reality is most people that are in the business that they're in do understand their business. And it, for whatever reason, these people that are the, the snake oil salespeople and the, and the vendors and that kind of deal, for whatever reason, they don't get it. And, and it just blows my mind that they would think, well, you've been in this industry, whether it's for a year or five years, 10, 15, 20. I mean, there are, there are a bunch of people that have actual expertise from working in the business and then step outside to, to do that. And um, it's just... I don't know. It just blows my mind. So, I mean, that's really my primary thought for tonight is it's like I just wanted to to say, you, you know, be aware, whatever industry you're in, be aware of the industry. Make sure that you're plugged in. You know, if you're spending the time to become an expert and building expertise in your field. Um, and, and for me, I, I try really hard to learn every day. I, I don't claim to be an expert. Um, uh, well, there are some areas I claim to be an expert, but not globally, not the whole, the, 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 the whole gamut. You know, I, I, that's why when these people from, from the review deal, from the reputation management company or contacted me, I reached out to the people that I know are experts. You know, we all can lean on somebody else. I heard someone say this not long ago. I may have said it in another live video. The reality is most any industry, if you're in it for any length of time, a year, two years, three years or more, most any industry is only 10 people deep. So if you need to find out something, and again, I'm basing it on the auto industry, you need to find out something in the auto industry on uh, wholesale, on service, on parts, on, uh, yeah, not a Facebook Live expert, Jake. I missed your comment earlier, Jason. I didn't see what it said. So the, the, there's, I am so far from a Facebook Live expert, but I did get a black sheet. So yeah, earn your reputation before you use it as a credential. Seems odd, doesn't it? Crazy. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. So uh, anyway, well, oh, what I was saying is in, in any industry, um, if, if you're an automotive, if you wanted to find somebody in, in, that's an expert in service or uh, an equal to you in service, the, the automotive industry is only 10 people deep. You can reach out and reach out and reach out and reach out and reach out. And you're going to find somebody that's an expert in service. If you want to find someone that's an expert in parts or wholesale or BDC or lead gen or, uh, oh, oh, hey, sales, right? on how to sell cars, how to sell the product, right? It's only about 10 people deep. Hey, I've got a green screen behind this, Jake, just so you know. It's pretty cool. I, can I scroll up on this? I'm gonna see, oh, I can, how fun. I tried this from my phone tonight. Underpants digital, ex underpants digital experts sit at home and underpants being experts. Hey, I think that's a shot because the thing is the other night, I was sitting at home when Dan tried to live in and I was in my underpants. It was awesome. And I clearly wasn't an expert on any of that. So uh, anyway, that's my thought for the night. I figured, okay, Facebook Live, day eight. And uh, it's just my, for whatever reason, the last two days has just been off the wall that people have been all over me telling me, uh, at least in our business, and I have to imagine yours. Maybe it's the beginning of the month. Is it? Is it the beginning of the month in the auto business? So they think, oh, hey, we'll all reach out and see if we can we can sign them up for the beginning of the month and and get these guys on. Whether it be reputation management, lead gen, uh, the the next best thing. The reality is, uh, yeah, there are a lot of really good companies out there. The really good companies out there. What and, and this is just one guy's opinion. The ones that are really really excellent. It's still not the person reaching out on the phone and the digital expertise. The ones that are really, really excellent are the ones that you hear from other places. You hear about them offline, if that makes sense. Does that make sense to you guys? Give me some thumbs up if that makes sense. You hear about them offline. It's, it's the people that have established expertise in the business. Those are the ones that you hear... Uh, you hear it through the grapevine, through that that connection of the 10 and 15 and 20 people. It's those people that are saying, oh, you know what? I dealt with this company. They're fantastic. You need to go use them. Hey, I dealt with this company. They're fantastic. You need to go use them.
I heard my friend Kevin Knebel say this last night, and he's absolutely phenomenal. Yes, I'm name dropping him. I think I said this last night also, and I was name dropping him. But either way, he was saying with all these different ways we have to be connected, cell phones and social media and regular phones and all, all the stuff out there, all the technology. So th this is not my statement. I want to be clear with that. Now, I believe it. I believe in it. With all the ways that have we have to get us and bring us closer together, they actually seem to be spreading us further apart. And that's why I'm saying when you get somebody that really truly is amazing and that they're an expert, uh, you'll hear about them offline and they'll carry a lot more clout, in my opinion, than everything that they are trying to push from their side online and reaching out and calling you and telling you how great that they are. Because everybody that I've had recently that calls and tells me how great that they are, I research them. And the interesting thing, and the Google review thing, man, I just, I get all over that deal. The Google review thing is, is uh, it's such a hot topic because you get all these reputation management companies, they call you and they tell you how great they are. And I say, okay, hey, great. So I look them up and I, uh, I, I check them out and I say, okay, well, hey, you've got not a bad reputation, 3.4 stars, right? Hey, do me a favor, Google, Google us. And so they look it up and they go, holy crap, well, you don't, you don't need us, right? So is that clout thing still a thing? I don't know if the clout thing's a thing or not. I, I have not checked clout recently. I don't, to, to me, it's not a thing. I mean, clout was a, a measurement. I don't think that it's, I don't know how that's, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know where the question comes from. I mean, sure, it probably is. Hey, Dan. So I, to me, I don't know. I don't know if the clout thing is still a thing or not. Dan, Dan says no, it's dead. Um, I, I think it's still there. I don't know how relevant it is. I think in 2010, 2011, 2012, the clout thing was like, oh my gosh, if you don't have a clout, no, I, I meant clout in general, like the definition of the word clout, like weight or uh, reputation, expertise, not like clout, the social network that ranks social networks. Because clout, I mean, that's the thing. If it, you said, is clout still a thing? I think in 2010, 2012, that was the, the rumor was like, oh my gosh, if you don't have a high clout, clout score, you're not going to get hired somewhere. You won't get a real job if you don't have a high clout score. Yeah, fast forward five years and people are like, is clout still a thing? That's okay. That, I think it was a good question. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's relevant. We're here on a social network talking uh, Facebook Live. I think it's a relevant question. So... Anyway, that's my rant for tonight. I know it's it's not an in-depth, uh, you know, big, deep training session. It's just an opinion. It's a rant. It was a frustrating uh, deal. So let me tell you about the fantastic things on Friday, and then I'll wrap it up and move on to life. The fantastic stuff on Friday. So my, uh, we, you know, last week, if you tuned into my Facebook Live, my 10-year-old uh, son, Carter, placed really well in the Stock Market Experience Challenge, which they do to this... Uh, all the elementary schools. And, and so he placed very high and we got to go receive an award with him today, which was awesome. Um, I should bring him in here, but he's on the couch right now. I jacked his foot up in gymnastics. So yeah, Carter is awesome. Out of 27,290 competitors, 87 school districts and 700 plus some odd schools, he placed for the fifth through eighth grade division, hit him and his team placed first place in their school, in their district, and about 15th overall out of 700 and, and uh, some odd schools competing. And it placed him in the top 1%. So it wasn't just a frustrating Friday. It was a fantastic Friday. We drove up to Denver, uh, spent the whole day there with his awesome, awesome math teacher who will remain na nameless um, simply because, you know, it's a school district thing and I don't want to throw it out there. So, yeah, I was really excited. Thank you, Damien. Appreciate you tuning in tonight, too, man. That's awesome. Um, but, yeah, it was it was super. So he scored really well. We went up. Uh, we got some acknowledgement, got some treats, rode back on the, on the bus that seemed like it took forever. And then, uh, once we got here tonight, he jacked himself up doing some gymnastics. So anyway, that's my, that's my two pieces for tonight. One, my son's awesome. Two, beware of false prophets in the auto industry, in any industry, really. Cause, uh, I mean, and it, it, who knows for some of you, I may rank as one. You say, I, Hey, this guy doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. Well, that's fine. Go research it and develop your own opinion. And that's cool. Uh, cause 
this is my opinion. So, uh, day eight Facebook Live challenge. Mike Phillips signing off, and uh, tune in again for day nine tomorrow. If you're competing in the Facebook Live challenge, guys, make sure and keep going. If you're not, then that's cool. Yeah, go ahead, Google me. Not me personally necessarily. We're talking. I'm talking about the auto business. Uh, if you're not competing, then I would say, hey, tune in and uh, and and do it, man. Guys like Damien, you've got something to offer. You need to you need to do this challenge if you're not already. I haven't seen if you are or aren't recently. I've caught that that you are uh, you you've done some Facebook Live. You need to tune in and do it because you've got some stuff to offer. I know Jake is Jason, uh, Dan. I know you are. Uh, Saturday, my understanding, guys. Uh, the, it, it, there was a comment said it's uh, going to be shirtless Saturday Facebook challenge. Jason and Dan, I think you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to keep my shirt on. I'm just saying. So anyway, guys, uh, appreciate you tuning in and hope you have a absolutely fantastic weekend. Have a killer Saturday. Tomorrow, I am going to do Facebook Live. I think I'm going to do Facebook Live with my buddy uh, Jesus. We've got a Plymouth Prowler on the lot. And so maybe I'll pull double duty. I'll let McCloskey Motors bleed over into the, the Mike Phillips deal. And we're going to talk a little bit about the Plymouth Plow Prowler because it's a pretty uh, cool car. So anyway, we'll talk to you soon and have a great weekend, guys and gals.